Disabled woman trapped inside her van after vandals broke in, robbing her of her independence. We noticed the glove box was open, and then everything I keep in there was just thrashed. It's the third time the van has been broken into. Our Camby Brown is live now in Midtown Sacramento with these break-ins that are not breaking her spirit, Camby. That's right, $2,500 worth of damage to this woman's van. She says she's on a fixed income and can barely afford to live. Nonetheless, have her van fixed. To me, I'm just me and I'm just a normal, my friend, you know, 27 year old Kim girl. Said. Kim Lathrop does everything else a young woman does. She goes out. I have a really good group of girlfriends. Plays with her dogs. Come here. And goes to school. But some things are different, like writing, turning off lights, and using her phone because Kim was born without any limbs. I love that I am independent and can be on my own. She's been living in her Midtown apartment for more than a year now. Everyone just assumes, oh, I'm taken care of. 24 hours a day. A caregiver helps her for half of the day, driving her to school and helping get things situated for when she's alone. She lives off disability and besides her chair, this van is her only way to get around. We noticed the glove box was open and then everything I keep in there was just thrashed all over the floor. Her van's been ransacked twice in the past six weeks and just yesterday, another setback. The door was jammed and so the ramp wouldn't fold out. Her caregiver Adam couldn't drive the van because the ramp was scraping on the ground. I felt really claustrophobic because at first we didn't know how to get out of my car. The van is temporarily yeah, fixed, but it doesn't mean the problem like, won't happen again. Doesn't shut all the way anymore. It's not stopping Kim though. She's still going to school and hoping she can save the money to get her van permanently fixed. The things I fear now, I just know that I, I can accomplish and attain them in future years. Now, Kim says she could take public transportation, but the problem is because she only has that 12 hours with a caregiver, it would take too much time trying to wait for the bus back and forth to get to school. All right, Camby. Well, we certainly wish her well. Thank you.